Hi guys, welcome to Cat Interstellar. This is just a very short game at the moment. It's a sci-fi game, it's an indie sci-fi game that's under development and so I decided to support it by buying it now as a very early access game. Level select, base, surface, mine, cave, signals, credits. So we'll just go right ahead to... Is this the first one? I think it is. Looks like she's coming online. Get the stutter assembler ready. We need to get her sensor attached before the power goes out again. Activating sensor. Internal diagnostics coming online. Um, Navigation protocols active. So, dog, can you move? Um, Glad to see everything's working, dog. Android 520 wants to see you in the laboratory. <laughs> it's out these doors to the left. He'll explain all the details. This is... Good luck out there, dog. Dog. This is dog. Fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's see what's here. Just wanna... It says my speed. That's nice. It's not very fast, is it? Alright, what else is in here? Oh, that's probably... That's us. A blueprint. And we've got a couple of... What? Droids or robots? Depending. Um, which galaxy you live in. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. So we're below Mars uh, Martian surface. There's something over here. So we're trying to, I guess, terraform Mars. Uh -huh. But there's no humans here. S uh, at least not as far as I can tell. What's going on over there? Very shiny floors and yeah, I like the graphics so far. Uh -oh. What's going on? This doesn't look good. That door is sort of uh, a bit malfunctioning. Not sure it's a good idea to enter, but. Oh, we can actually interact with the environment, which is good. I'm going to try and see what's here. Nothing. So what can I do? Can I jump? I can jump. The constant maintenance from these mass quakes is making some of our supplies run low. I hope our next shipment arrives here soon. Uh-huh. Yep, it sounded a bit like faint. Then Krios with that crispy raspy vo voice. So, hey, dog, glad to see you up and running. Hopefully, you can get in and out of the mine before this whole place falls apart. Sure, so do I, but um, you've got some weird feet actually. Why would they keep you? Well, I get why you. Yeah, well, toes are pr probably a good thing. <laughs> and you don't need five to have a balance, so... Fine. There's nothing up here. Just goes down to the other side of the room we just entered minutes ago. So, I guess the elevator then? Okay. What? I can't. What am I? S really? They need to see you in the lab before you leave. In the lab. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. How about looking around? Just you know. Thoroughly. <laughs> We've got a tree here as well, and grass, which is nice. I can have a pee here, right? No, on the tree. Since you know, it's we're a dog. Uh huh. 
uh, let's follow that one. Follow the droid uh, robot. We got lights as well, which is probably useful. Oh, hey, what's going on? Why are you running? It's, I like the graphics. It looks and feels like something that could be very cool when it's finished. And oh, this game is supposed to be uh, trying its best to be scientifically accurate and that's the main reason why I wanted to support it because we need more of the, those games. Wait, really? Um, no. Okay, let's try again. I don't know, quickly. <laughs> yep, almost didn't make it. This is a nice little garden. Who's that? And what? What's that? Can you believe the first extraterrestrial life was found by a couple spelunkers on a Martian vacation? I guess really? space tourism actually did pay off. So. These are Martian mushrooms? Well, you needed to find mushrooms first of all, right? Yeah. Can you believe the first extraterrestrial so you, life was found by a couple spelunkers? Humans could kill themselves or get high, I guess. I take it. I don't know. So, this is. It's good to see you firing on all cylinders, dog. Obviously, that is just a metaphor. I did not mean to imply your engine was still a simple combustion engine. <laughs> Some of the androids around here would trade their brain for that T6 fusion driver you're running on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm a little off subject. The reason we commissioned you was to locate some drones that went missing in the lower caverns. Oh. Unfortunately, we lost communication with them a few days ago when the quakes got really bad. Quakes, we are huh? concerned with the drones themselves, but we just need you to download their data logs. Oh. The sure. drone bacteria, as unique as it is, simply cannot be the only form of life in this entire planet. We've never been this deep in the planet's core, so we've been sending drones down in the hopes of finding something that previously evaded us. I do not know how long it will be safe to be down there. It's very important you recover at least a few data logs. We need to know if they found something. Oh, and before I forget, I had the maintenance crew modify your sensor. The drones are powered by a specific plutonium isotope, which your sensor can detect. Pardon the pun, but it should allow you to sniff them out. <laughs> I'll turn it on for you. Good. You should see some smudges from the drones in this room. Yeah. All right, dog. Make your way to the mine. Meet up with Android 42. If you find any of the drones, make sure you secure their data logs. So we're not going topside this time, I take it. And so there's no mushrooms on Mars. There's bacteria in the ground. Which is, of course, the thing scientists are looking for at the moment. Yeah, no one's gonna expect to find some living, me, walking, breathing animal on Mars now. So, bacteria would be very, very cool to find. Especially if it doesn't have, you know, DNA. I'm not sure all bacteria do, to be honest. I know a lot of viruses doesn't, because... So we're not even sure how to classify them, mostly. They're not really living as we classify the rest of us living. Um, so, can I? I can't do anything to get quicker. Can I? Oh, I can. Wow. That helped. <laughs> but, hmm. I need to go back, I, I think. Right. Fine. So, we're gonna go sniff out some bacteria, huh? Sounds like a job for dog. Mm -hmm. 
the sounds are cool as well. Feels like this is an environment where things are active like power and other stuff. So um which way do we need to go now? They're in here talking as well. I, I can't access that room. So we're going we're probably using the elevator when I think about it. Oh the elevator's down the hall to the right. What? Oh Damn, I thought something's jammed the uh -oh. door. Maybe your grab lift can get it open. Of course. Um hmm? Oh wow. As is that how I open it? I'm that's a bit violent, wouldn't you say? Let's see. Or just tear the whole thing down. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that was probably not the best way uh -oh, to do it. Can I? I can't. Too late now. Too late now. Uh-huh. Yep. This way? Down the hall to the right, he said. Didn't he? Yeah. Tram collapsed again. This is not good. You're gonna have to take the elevator. Yep. I was told to take no. the elevator, so... You need to take the elevator to the surface. Just activate the console on the inside. To the surface? I thought I was... Oh well. Actually, that's cool. That is cool. Are we... This is not the elevator. This is. Alright. Right. I just find it funny that this game is called Cat Interstellar and we're a dog. I'm just just saying. Hello. Um So this is Mars, huh? Oh, didn't know they had a dog up and running. What brings you to the surface? The tram didn't collapse again, did it? Ah, uh, knew that was gonna happen. I can't talk. I don't think. Can you believe Can? they have an engineer class android working on the air ducts? I wish we had a little. What's that? I'm not gonna shoot it. So how are the air ducts looking? The humans are gonna want to move in once we get the solar radiation under control. These miles quakes are getting worse and worse. Right. Quakes are not good. Quakes are not good. So, uh, that's where we're at. A lot of mountains. How's it going, dog? Ah, uh, good. It's going good. I'm a nice little dog. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, dog. Let me get these blast doors open for you. Sure. If you have time, I know they need some help over at the greenhouse. Just head out these doors to the right. Okay. Nice. Whoa. That stung me. What was that? I can't see anything. There's something up there. Just trying yeah. to make a connection with Earth. Really? Are you are you sure you're programmed to kick the electronical devices equipment? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> really not sure about that. Can I do anything to you know help you out? No, I don't think so. So, I'm supposed to go to the right. Did he say that? Not sure. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, this could definitely be Mars. I'm looking at the ground, it's probably. A copy of some of the pictures from the rover. If it's scientifically done, it should be, at least to a certain extent. Could be other. Yeah. It 
could be pure sand some places as well and then just pure rock face as well so oh and ice I wonder if we're gonna find ice and it's clever to have robots of course they won't die uh, they won't suffocate or starve or anything but yeah you need to have a huge program running for them to do this self-sufficiently you know being don't they don't need orders this looks cool so it's uh the sun is going down I guess with the blue sky and all shouldn't it I'm just wondering shouldn't the sky be bit less blue it, I think it's turning more blue as the Sun goes down since there's no there's almost no atmosphere on Mars but maybe we already turned it into well it's not breathable Duh, yet is it got a shipment of fertilizer. or is it? Grab some and put it in the machine these plants are growing out in the open so are we getting oxygen? Doug, we just got a shipment of fertilizer. Could you grab some and put it in the machine? Right? Where's the fertilizer? Where's the fertilizer? Is this the machine I need to put it in? Probably is. Let's see. That's not fertilizer, is it? Whoops. Ah. Sorry. Maybe it is. Yup, it is. Oh, I'm good at this. It's a lot, dog. The machine will automatically mix the fertilizer in with the well water. They're lucky there's so much water beneath the surface. I guess they wouldn't have tried to terraform the planet if there wasn't. No. It makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? I've got tons of solar panels. Nice. Where are we, though? Are we in a, an area I would know the name of? Didn't say, did it? I don't think so. So we found a cave and something on this. What what is that? I can't do anything with it. Oh, them go. It's just it's just light. Makes no sense. I mean <laughs> it's gotta be Wait, what's this? Dog. Uh Rip Mo. Aw. Are you kidding me? They had a real dog here? What's over there? Wow! Is that... how tall... how far up does that go? It looks like it's uh... going up to... up into space. Yeah, can we ride it? Is that a space elevator? Let's see... it really looks like it. I mean, for for dog. Let's see. Yeah, it looks to be going way, way up there. Oh wow, it's drilling down. Really? Wait, wait, this doesn't make sense to me at the moment, but that's just because I have no clue what it is. So, Maybe, maybe I'll find out. Dog, I'm glad you showed up. We could use some help. Is that sensor yours working? Mm -hmm. The storm blew away a crate containing some plutonium rods. Could you try to track it down and put it in the skylight? Okay. Right. Look at that. I'm not. What am I supposed to do with that? 
I mean, there's got to be a button, right? Just follow it. I didn't see this first time. Um, now what? Oh, there. Oh, come on. No? This this stopped. Here? No? Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> so I'm sniffing. Right, right. Of course I'm sniffing. That's the job. I didn't think it was that literal. <laughs> So I'm a bloodhound, huh? Right. What? 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 There. Alright, let's zoom in and try to be a dog. Mm -hmm. What's this? Uh... Failed attempt somehow. What's this? Well, looks like something a quake or something hit this place. Can I? It was highlighted. Um oh. <laughs> so uh load box in Skylift. 117 meters? Oh! Really? Well, fine, but can I do that later? I want to follow. Maybe there's no more trails. This is where... what I was supposed to get from this area. Yeah, it probably was. Wait, um... It's shiny. The ground is... reflecting from on this one, this pillar. That's cool. Let's see. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna have to. Uh oh, that was annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick this up and take it back to where we came from. So wh why are we doing this? Oh, yeah. Okay. There. Now what? It's where it's supposed to be, isn't it? I think so. So... Let's go and have a chat with this guy. Why are they all male looking? Why? Thanks, dog. It would have taken us all day to find that. You can send the skylift up by activating the console at the top of the stairs. Okay. So we're sending it up. So it, yeah, sure, it's a skylift. So it's going up to what? Something orbiting this planet. Activate skylift. This one? It's hard to. There. I've been getting a number of messages. Wow. Apparently, they're pretty anxious to get you in the mine. Just follow the green tube back and you'll see it on the left. What did he say? Um, yeah. I've got a problem hearing what's been s being said from my right ear. So let's see. I've been getting a number of messages while you were working. Apparently they're pretty anxious to get you in the mine. Just follow the green tube back and you'll see it on the left. Really? Not getting this. <laughs> Um, hmm So I'm following this to get to the mine. Yeah, sure. So we're, that's back to where we came from. Was there another area we didn't visit? Or I'm just gonna... Hello? Not what you expected Mars to look like, huh? Once we expanded the atmosphere, most of the iron washed away. Right. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, oh, really? I didn't see that? But that's not green, is it? So now I'm not sure. But it looks like a mine, doesn't it? Hello. Are you waiting for me? Thanks for helping out, dog. Yeah. Be careful down there. Sure. I'll try my best. Come on. Here we go. Down we go. How far down are we going? Well. Dog, you made it. I'm at yeah. 42. Before we go down in the caves, I could really use your help with something. Okay. It not take too long. Just follow me. Right. I can do that. I think. Hi guys. Whoa, did you do break everything again? Android one's gonna be pissed. Real funny <laughs> forty two. I see you found someone to go in the caves with you. I hope you know what you're getting into, dog. Be careful down there, forty two. Things aren't getting any better. We'll be fine. These dog units were built for this. In and out. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. So they're called androids, of course. Well, welcome to the mine. Thank you. This is where the Skylift is anchored into the planet. Oh. I'm not sure if Android 520 went over this in the mission briefing, but the tether acts like a drill during its descent. Right, that's what I was wondering. It looks really, looked like a drill. So... There's a highly unstable fusion reactor near the bottom that'll melt whatever it touches. It uses oh, the force of the descent to push it deeper into the planet's core. So... We can draw that... out fast it burns by siphoning some of that energy back up through the tether into four distributors. It usually isn't a problem, but the last quake caused so much damage, we had to take them offline. But does that mean... How does that work exactly? Is it being constantly built to... I've already rebooted their systems remotely, but they need to be powered on manually. You can do this by activating the console connected to them. To, to, uh, the other three aren't as extend easy as this one. The line. One of the bridges got knocked out, so your double thrust will come in handy. What? What did I do? I'm just clicking buttons. That's not good. I mean, that's not how a droid, uh, an android should work, is it? But fine. Let's see. This way? No. No. Follow. Um, let's go see if he's got something to say. If you need help finding the consoles, just follow the cable coming out of the anchor. But I just did. I just... Are there more consoles? Follow the cables that comes out of the anchor. Right, but how the hell do we get over there? Hmm. Mm, yep, I'm not sure I want to go that way, honestly. Let's see. This way? That doesn't help. Um, yeah, wait, there's a cave here. There's a little cave. Cozy little cave. Yeah, I think. Okay, fine. Hi guys. Who left the light out there? I have no idea. Um. Right. Ah. That's noisy. Can I jump over there? Perfect. 
So now I know why they needed me down here. Yeah, it's a ways down to fall. <laughs> Don't think the androids are built for that fall. Yeah. Why? Why is there a staircase to this place? Hmm. I don't know. That's probably not even an important question. Oh no. Come on. It's a very effective... Oh no. That's not good. I just blocked... <laughs> Why? Really? I can't. Can I get this stone? Uh, okay, I can. Bye bye stone. Uh oh. Um... No one saw that, okay? <laughs> Okay, it works. That's the most important part. Uh huh. Are we done now? Are we completely done? I think we got it all. Right, let's go back to the android. Alright, so. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what? Ugh. I guess we survived at least. How about the rest of the the androids? Oh no, what's going on? Uh oh. Shit. That's not good. Um don't tell me I'm the the only one left around here. Ugh, what's going on over there? Let's see. I can't shoot. No? Why? Okay, fine. That's um, probably the most annoying part of any game, that you can interact with certain parts of the uh, environment when it's convenient for the game, the plots, or whatever, but you can't do it the rest of the time, which is a uh, sort of immersion breaking, I feel like. So I hope. I mean, it's no, I've got no reason to destroy everything around, but it doesn't make sense that I can't shoot and crush a stone just because, you know, I want to. If I want to, you know, ruin, break Mars, that's Dog, my priority, right? Can you help me out? Where, where are you? Um, you're here somewhere. Oh, there's more, there's more of them. That's not good. Can I? Yeah, that one I can. Move. Thanks a lot. I holy Christ. Look at Android 388. Alright, mission's over. We need to figure out how to get out of here. That's exactly right. right. If you can't find a way out, maybe you can make one. Yeah, yeah, I was trying. But probably, yeah, now it works. That's... No, there we go. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna have to make a big enough hole for the buttons, right? So, that should be enough, right? I think so. Can you get... yeah, you can get through. Well, so, that's one way to make a path. It is. It's the only way to make a path in this place, I think. So, uh, this is a cool cave. Is that what I think it is? What? I don't know what you're thinking. These are self-burrowing cables. They connect the skylifts together. 
We just need to keep following him. I'll let you lead the way. Um. What? South burrowing cables? Really? How can we follow them uh, unless we break the the wall, huh? I don't know. There's gotta be more of them over here then, right? It is. So, this is what... Okay. Really? Easy way to make tunnels. It's a very useful android. Oh. Now. Mm -hmm. Did you get through there? Um, there's more of them. Lots more. So we just need to follow the cables. No anomalies found. No anomalies found. No anomalies found. No anomalies found. Really? No anomalies found. No anomalies found. Okay, fine. Anomalies found. So, are you? Are you saying there's no anomalies around here? I'm not sure. She was a little vague, don't you think? Now, um, we're at least following the cables. I'm not sure if Android is with me, the other one. I don't care. He's gonna come with me or not. Wow. Cool. Self burrowing cables? Oh wow, look at that. That's a uh, ways down. But so there's something down there. Looks like there's something that was built. Down way down there. Do we need to jump down? I mean Ugh, that can't be good. Right? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try because... Yeah, it's just fun to... Oops. That wasn't so bad. Oh, he just jumped straight down. Wow, he's braver than me. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. So, it's not built. It's just... What? What's they call? What are they called? Stalagmites or... Yeah, or the other. I'm not sure. So... Who built this? Who dug out this? We've been here a while, haven't we? Must have been on we Mars. These caves obviously aren't safe. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, um good thing there's natural pathways through this place. I yeah, so thought it would be rockier with all the tremors. So it's natural, huh? But we should probably take time to investigate. See if there's anything you know. Um oops. any bacteria. Anything? alive. Isn't that what we're here for? Yeah, we shouldn't be worried about our own dirty lives. Nice. Oh. Not really sure where to go from here. So, yeah, fine. I just want to check out this place. I wonder what kind of weapon or stone crushing utility thingy I'm having. Wait, are we? <laughs> fine, we're back. Right, you got another one. Sounds like this one didn't find anything either. No, but I'll check the data log to make 
computer. Yep, you do that. Transferring data log. Transfer complete. Nope, nothing. Shutting down. At this point, I really don't care if they found anything. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, you do, huh? I know. I want to check out this place. I'm the inquisitive little dog, you know? Need to find... Oh, really? How about now? Well, oh. I hate to be a downer. This isn't looking good. You never should have come down here. Wait, we didn't come down here. We fell. What's this? Well, this what? one picked a weird spot to crash. What is that? It sounds like it's completely fried. I'm not sure how that could have happened. What? What's that? You know, I've never seen hanging tubes like this outside of a lab. Yeah. Um. What are those? I don't know. We can't do anything with them. Nothing. Okay. Bye. There's so many paths to take. I'm just trying to explore the whole area, but I'm probably not exploring everything. Okay. this another one of oh that's where we came from <laughs> how about this way then so running in circles is not oh that's not working fine and that's actually good because I hate it when I have so many choices <laughs> yep this area again let's see there I think we came from over there. So this thing. Yeah, at least he's following us now. I can hear him. His angry little steps. What is this? A wind tunnel? No wonder humans used to come all the way from Earth to explore this place. So humans have been here already? Huh. That I didn't know. A wind tunnel. There's lots of water down here though. So I can't imagine what it must be like for these drones wandering past all this. For no. Can you imagine anything? I mean <laughs> You're an android, so if you can imagine things then I'm impressed. Uh oh. That way, or looks to be the only way. Okay. What the hell? What is that? What? What? What is that? Um. Hmm. Uh, okay, we gotta keep moving. I'll get the recordings. No, we can't keep moving. We need to check out this area. Who built this? That's not humans who did that, is it? I mean, seriously. Why would humans... Uh, yeah, no, this is not humans. Uh, or millions of years ago, humans? Our ancestors came from Mars? Why didn't any of the drones find this? Not sure. So... Because that's something people have. I wonder how old this is. Right. That's the that's the thing, isn't it? I think it must be must be very very old. And it's amazing that it's been it's here at all. This wet condition. Some of the statues had symbols on. Hmm. 
I don't know if we can make anything from the symbols, but we could probably infer a lot from the statues. I mean, they obviously had a head. They aren't like spiders or anything. Right. So, I don't know. If they were humans, well, as I said, there's a lot of theories going around about that we may have been coming from Mars, but the bacteria perhaps, not humans. I wonder but how long this has been here. Could it have evolved so similarly that, you know, from Mars they had people looking more, more or less like humans? I think uh, that's pretty unlikely. Or maybe not. That's the thing, we only have one sample. So it's hard to, to do the math. Not sure how we're gonna get past this. Well, um, I'm sorry. I need to. Seriously, do you know how much these are worth? I don't care what they're worth. I, I'm, I, I care that I'm ruining history. But yeah. Why didn't they find this? No. Yeah, why didn't they find this? They would have passed through that cavern dozens of times over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Transferring data log. Transfer complete. Shutting down. Do you see that light up ahead? Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. They should have found it. There's no... If they were configured to recognize shapes of faces, and stuff like that, they definitely should have found them as anomalies. More of these things. What are those? And a big one. Hmm. Interesting. Oh man, this is really messing with my head. Uh huh. Uh, okay, yeah. Probably. I want to follow the stream, but it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> so it quickly turned out. They carved out all these corridors with water. It would have taken hundreds of years even to complete this room. So they they've lived below the Martian surface for many, many generations after Mars turned into a more hostile planet, perhaps. And then they died out because, yeah, they... Oh, they're using the tunnels to transport different types of bacteria. This is a machine! What? Bacteria? through, well, yeah, could be, but, I mean, we don't know there's bacteria in that, do we? But it's a clever way of doing it. This looks like a mouse. <laughs> Teeth. And Right, let's see what else is down here. Oh, if we can get any clues. What is that? I mean, is that... Where's it going to? I wonder. Maybe I should have jumped up and checked the area above us as well. So, that's where we came from. Yeah, I'm trying to not get lost here. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. We need to get out of here. Oh, no, no. Don't say it's gonna get ruined because then we have no Follow clue. me! Okay, fine. I'm following you. Whoa. Come on, dog. I'm, I'm doing my best, honestly. Uh, it's not good enough. Come on! 
So we're not gonna have anything to prove what we found. That's not cool, is it? Oh no, wrong way. You see that one at the end? Yeah, well, I'm hurt, so I'm not sure what I see. Everything is coming so. down, isn't it? Whoa. Feel like this planet doesn't want us here? What? Cat. Yeah, of course we're a cat. <laughs> really? Is this prior to... Wait a second. What kind of cat is this? It looks like a cross between bear and a cat. Ah. It's so cute though, but this can't be easy. What? Is this now or prior to our experience? Wow, I don't get it. <laughs> um, can I? Oh wow, jump. I can really jump. Okay. Oh. Um, no, never mind. Never mind. Come on. This can't be good. I mean, what the hell is a cat doing here? They had a dog as well here, though, so I'm not sure what's going on. Why would you do that to an animal? Oh, wow. Whoa! <sighs> I guess not. Um. Oh. This way. Are we going the same way? No, this is not where the droid or android went, is it? What is this place? Ah, cats don't like getting wet, do they? Um, okay. Jump. Whoa! <laughs> no, I guess... I can't. What? what the hell kind of sound is that? Oh no. What's going on? What? Oh wow! Can we use them? What the hell is going on? That didn't sound good at all. Whatever that was. I can't run. So... Is this the uh, fate of this facility? Only one alive after something weird happened was a cat, huh? What is that? Is it oil or is it something, a biomass of some, some other biomass? Uh, I'm not sure I want to find out. What's going on? Looks like oil or something. Oil means at least that uh, it's been a thriving planet at one time, but yeah. There is the end for now. Thanks for playing Cat Interstellar. We really appreciate your support and feedback. The purpose of this build is to refine the control mechanics for the cat. We highly encourage you to give us feedback in the forums, and once again, thanks for playing. Awesome. Can I not even watch the outside? Because this is a wintry planet now. That's awesome.
Can I? Can look at it. Yeah, is this on the pole or? So humans were here long before they sent the androids. I take it. And why did they send the androids instead of humans? Was it too expensive to keep sending humans? And time cut. No, I didn't want to go back. That wasn't mine. Alright, fine, we're back at this menu. It's fine. It's a good way to end this game for now. I'm definitely curious. I'm going to be following this game. And I'm really hoping they'll give it a good spin and a good story with lots of scientifically correct stuff. And so the only fiction part of this will be the part about us being on Mars doing stuff like this and the story itself. Purely fiction, I don't care about that. But I mean that's how stories go, right? So if they keep on if they keep this on with the scientifically correct things going on and it's certain an intriguing part of the story because if they want us to check out the cat movements it means we're gonna have some sort of four-legged thing walking jumping in the future it doesn't have to be a living thing I don't think yeah I'm gonna keep my eye out for this game I hope you enjoyed it I certainly did Thanks for watching. Take care.